Right, hello everyone. Digger Dave's detecting. We're back out again. What with Alan today? He's over there. Swinging his coil after those avies. I'm out today with a CTX 3030. My new machine. Uh, I have been out with I have been out with this machine a couple of times before, but I haven't really found a great deal with it yet. Still yet to find the coin with it. But I just had a target. It was given 1440, I think, on the CTX. And we just had a little button. I dug a few bits of foil and a piece of lead, but I felt like that was the first target worth showing. Still got the shank on the back. Gonna try and do some live digs today if I can, if the rain stops. And yeah, I'll see you on the next signal. On to the next. Right, everyone, been going up and down now for about an hour. We've been digging signals, bits of lead, small bits of brass. But no, I think Alan's had one Roman coin, but it's added a bit, but it's a Roman coin. And Alan's seen an oyster shell here, so we think the Romans have been here. How many, we don't know. But Alan's just called me over now. And he's just had that. Well, that's got to be a silver coin. Well, it is a silver coin, we can see it is. So Alan's going to reveal it now, live on camera for us. There's a bit of spray, buddy. Bit of shoddy camera work, huh? <laughs> George is six, is it? Or is it Edward? No. George the six. George is six, so that'll be fit. My eyes are shit. George is six. Let's play that side for you. Oh nice, it's um, from the Maundy set isn't it? Oh that's, an, that's a nice one there. It's, it's from the Maundy set Alan said. I've not heard of that before but it's definitely a different one. And it's 1937 on there so it's 50% silver. Happy days Alan. Hopefully the next bit Thank of silver will be a hammered. Thank you. Well everybody, we moved into a different field because the first field we were in wasn't proven to be very fruitful. We've been in here about 10-15 minutes and like I said I was waiting for my first coin with a CTX well I found my first coin and it's only a hammered a hammered coin for the first coin for the CTX it's added a bit but that is a hammered coin happy days it's totally totally added but it's definitely been a hammered at some point I don't know if we're going to get any detail off it but that is a hammered coin it's took me a couple of outings to get a hammy with a CTX. Now I'm going to keep searching, hopefully I can have another. Right guys, see you on the next. Hammered! Right guys, next target of the day. I can't remember what numbers it was reading, but it was a lovely signal on the CTX. And we have a little button. It's got a lovely little design on there. At first I thought it was a hammered because... I don't know if you can quite see that cross when I revealed it out of the ground. I could just see that cross and nothing else. And I thought I had another hammered. But it's a button. Not a hammered, but it's a nice little button. Yeah, and I'm chuffed to find that. I'm still chuffed to death with a hammered, guys. It might be totally had it. But for the first coin for the CTX, a new machine, for, to be a hammered coin, I think this is my third outing with the CTX. And that's my very first coin, I'm chuffed to bits. There's Alan over there, he's searching for a hammered. You just know Alan's gonna get one. He always leaves with a hammered, no matter where we go. Right, carry on searching, see you on the next signal. Right everybody, next signal of the day on the CTX, about three inches down, and we have a little button. Nothing amazing, but another find. We'll keep searching, and I'll see you on the next. Hello everybody, just had another target on the CTX, and it appears we have a coin ball, wherever it is, wherever it's gone now. Oh, there it is, I just broke it. But look, a coin, well we had a coin ball. Looks to be a penny. 
George, five if I'm not very much mistaken. Well, that's in really, really good condition, that guy's. It's been really well preserved. I'm happy with that. See if we can get a date off it. date on there is 1937 I think so that'll make it George VI not George III yeah 1937 guys shame it's not a 1933 but yeah another coin so we're happy with that guys I think we're approaching the end of the hunt now guys to be honest but we're gonna keep going keep searching you never know we might have time for a couple more finds just to let everyone know guys I'm on 270 subs on my channel once i hit the 300 sub, sub, once i hit the 300 subscriber mark i'm going to be doing a giveaway on my channel it's going to be a good giveaway so if you want to share my channel share my videos please feel free as soon as we get to 300 subs we're going to be doing a giveaway to say thank you to you the viewers and the subscribers so right see you on the next signal guys right alan's just come over and he's got a coin, and I think it's a George V crown, but Alan, Alan thinks it's a George V counterfeit crown. But I don't think it is a counterfeit, I just think it's been badly beaten up by the elements. But Alan's going to give it a clean letter with, some, well, with his cleaning method, and he's going to send me some pics, so we'll let you know if that's a counterfeit or not. 50-50, I think it isn't, Alan thinks it is. But we'll find out later. Right, see you on the next. Right, everyone, decided to call it a day. So, just do a quick roundup of all the finds. Just quickly show you the crap. Bits of lead. Piece of a button. Some kind of copper nail. Bit of brass. Bit of tin. Bit of brass. And foil. We've got a piece of a spoon. Possibly might have been silver plated once, but I'm not sure. We've got this nice button, which at first I thought it was a hammy because I could only see the cross, but it wasn't a hammy. Then first coin for my CTX ever, and it is a hammy. It's totally addy. But you might just be able to see the legend around there. Maybe a bit of a clean, it might reveal it, but it's totally addy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get an ID. But it's definitely a hammered. Then about the 1937 penny. Then we go down to Alan's finds. Alan's first coin of the day, which we think, well, we're pretty certain it's a Roman. It's added a bit, but you can just about make out a head on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can. Then Alan had this silver threepence, which we think, because it's part of the Monday collection, that's going to be full silver there. I said earlier it was 50%, but we think because it's part of the Monday collection, is it Al? Yeah, Monday. Monday collection, we think that's going to be full silver. Sorry about that. And then Alan's also had a Jetum, we think, copper hammered, but it's pretty blank, but we think that's a copper hammered. And then he's also had this, which what I think is a real crown, George V. Alan thinks it's a counterfeit. So we'll give that a clean up later and I'll put a picture of that and you'll be able to judge for yourself. Right everyone, we're out again on Sunday. We'll be joined by Chris. We'll see you on the next.